Good morning everyone. Today we are going to start chapter 12 of your book Rise of Nazism in Germany. And in this module we will discuss the Weimar constitution that was set up in Germany after the First World War. Before going ahead with the explanation, let us first explain the objectives of the topic. Germany problems facing the Weimar constitution. Why did the Weimar Republic collapse? Rise of Hitler to power and factors assisting in his rise, January 1933 to April 1945. The Nazi state from 1933 onwards, and why Hitler was popular with many sections of the German people. And in this module, we will discuss the problems which were before Germany and which have to face. by the weimar constitution and why did the weimar republic collapse let us first understand the new terms of the topic weimar republic it was the name of the constitution which was adopted in germany after the first world war on august 11 1919 frederick ebert a member of the social democratic party and the provisional president here provisional means temporary provisional president of german redstag student redstag is the name of the german parliament signed a new constitution known as the weimar constitution so after the first world war first time a liberal constitution was formed in germany on the appeal of president wilson of america the name of this constitution was called as the weimar constitution since it was set up at a city of germany called as weimar the next term is redstag redstag is a german word generally means parliament and we know that the work of the parliament is to make law so law making organ of the government of germany was called as redstag the next term is davis plan The Davis Plan was a plan in 1924 that successfully resolved the issue of World War I reparation that Germany had to pay. It reduced the amount of the war reparation that Germany had to pay after the First World War. The next word is Young Plan. The Young Plan was a program for settling Germany's World War I reparations. Here reparations means war indemnity. The Young Plan reduced further payments by twenty percent. So Davis Plan and Young Plans were the plans according to which America gave loan to Germany so that Germany could pay its war indemnity easily. First, by the Davis Plan, it was made possible for Germany to pay the war indemnity in installments, and then by the Young Plan, further the installment was reduced and. total war indemnity was reduced to 20% the next word is communism communism is a political and economic system that seeks to create a classless society in which the major means of production such as mines and factories are owned and controlled by the public there is no government or private property in communism students communism is a ideology which started in russia it supports that all should have collective ownership of means of production in communism there is no place for private property as communism believes that private property is the reason for corruption the ideal of communism is to create classless society where there would be no poor no rich and all would be equal the next word is communist The person who believes in communism is called as a communist. That means one who seeks the abolition of property, whether held by state, private firms, or citizens, is called as communist. The communists are strictly against the ownership of private property. A communist believes that private property is the root of all evils in the society. so a communist is a person who adhere to ideology of communism want to end the private property of all individuals private firms as well as of the state 
That means the communists believed that there should be collective ownership of all means of production. And the government would make it sure that all means of production would be utilized for the welfare of the citizens. The next word is Chancellor. The head of the government or universities in some countries is called as Chancellor. Students, here we are talking about Germany. So, in respect of Germany, the Prime Minister of Germany was called as the Chancellor. The next term is the Treaty of Versailles, it was the most important of the peace treaties that brought World War I to an end. The treaty ended the state of war between Germany and the Allied powers, which consisted of England, France and Russia. After the First World War, a treaty was signed between both the groups of the First World War. Allied or Allies, which consisted of England, France, Russia and late entry of America. The second group was the Central Pass, consisted of Germany, Austria-Hungary and Turkey. This treaty was signed at a place called Versailles near Paris, so it was called as the Treaty of Versailles. The next word is proportional representation. An electoral system in which parties gain seats in proportion to the number of votes cast for them. Children in this system, the population of any place is a determining factor of the seats won by the different political parties. In Germany, the upper house, the red state, and in India, for the election of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, the system of proportional representation has been chosen. That means the states or the units which have more population would be given more representation in the legislature. The next word is Freikorps. Freikorps were German and other European military volunteer units or paramilitary that existed from 18th to early 20th centuries. So, fire corps were the private volunteer organizations related with military which consisted of German and some other Europeans. These were formed so that the infantry of Germany could be backed by strong detective agencies. As the work of most of the fry corp agencies were to detect the secret informations of the enemy group. Next is Republic. A state in which supreme power rests in the citizens and it is exercised by representatives chosen by them directly or indirectly. A republic is a form of government which is opposite to monarchy. In a monarchical system, there is rule of king or queen. The republic stands for the representatives should be elected by the public. But here the election could be direct or indirect. In Germany, it was direct republic as the president of Germany was directly elected by the people of Germany. Whereas in India, the system of republic is indirect as the president of India is indirectly elected by the people of India through the MPs and MLAs they have already elected. The next word is war indemnity. War reparations are compensation payments made after a war by the vanquished or the defeated countries to the victors. They are intended to cover damage or injury inflicted during a war. So war indemnity is a penalty that a losing country has to pay to the winning country or to the winning group. After the First World War, Germany was asked to pay $33 billion as war indemnity to the allied countries. Now let us start our module with the discussion of the condition of Germany during the First World War. Germany and its allies were called as the Central Powers. The Central Powers consisted of Germany, who was the main country in this group, along with Austria-Hungary later joined by the Ottoman Empire, that means Turkey, and Middle East. And then Bulgaria also joined it. 
The opposing side was known as the allies. The allies were also called as sometimes allied. The allies was comprised of Serbia, Russia, France and its empire, Belgium, Montenegro and Britain and its empire including self-governing colonies like Canada and Australia. So mainly there were two groups which have fought the First World War. One was the Central Path which consisted of the countries like Germany, Austria-Hungary and Turkey. Later on Bulgaria also joined this group. The second group and the winner of the First World War was the Allies power which consisted of England with its other parts of empire also like India, Canada, Australia, France with its full empire, Belgium, Montenegro and Serbia which was a relatively a small country and Russia was also there in the same group. On your screen you can see the allied power or the allies power with green color. Amongst the allied power the main countries were France, Great Britain and Russia. Italy when first world war was started was in central power but after the secret treaty of London Italy also joined the allied powers. Some small countries like Serbia, Romania, Greece and Portugal also joined this group. The central powers, the second group of the first world war is depicted with the yellow color. Germany was the leader of this group. Austria-Hungary which was ruled by Habsburg dynasty was also the member of the central powers. Ottoman Empire which means Turkey was also in the central powers. The pink color which you can see on your screen depicts the countries which were neutral or we can say who did not take part in the first world war. Amongst the neutral countries were Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Netherlands, Belgium, Spain and Albania. Now let us discuss the condition of Germany after the First World War. The First World War was the curse for Germany. After the defeat of Germany, Caesar William II who was the Emperor of Germany during the First World War fled to Holland. That means he ran away to Holland and students Holland at present is called as Netherlands. Frederick Herbert formed the government. In the meantime, a constituent assembly was elected by secret ballots. So first time, democratic governments were to be formed in Germany after the appeal of President Wilson of America. A constituent assembly was set up whose work was to prepare the future constitution for Germany. Germany now became a republic. Republic, students, I have already discussed in the new terms. Republic is a system where the head of the state is elected by the people, directly or indirectly. So monarchy was ended in Germany and republican form of government was set up in Germany. And Germany got its first ever republican constitution called as the Weimar Republic. It was called as the Weimar Republic because the constituent assembly met at a place called Weimar and that was the reason the constitution came to be known in the world as the Weimar Republic of Germany. So after the first world war there was political transformation in Germany as monarchy was ended and first time the Germans were seeing the republican form of government where the president was chosen directly by the German people. So Weimar Republic was chosen. On your screen you can see the picture of Frederick Herbert who was the first ever Republican president of Germany after the First World War. The Weimar constitution entrusted the executive powers to the president who was elected for the term of seven years. There were two houses in the legislature namely Reichstag representing the people and Reichstag representing the component state. 
the Weimar constitution provided all the executive or implementation power to the president. It also adopted bicameral legislature where two houses of the legislature was adopted. But Reichstag, which represented the common people, were given more power. The Weimar constitution has been described by some historians the most perfect democratic constitution of modern times. Frederick Herbert became the first president of the new German Republic. The Weimar Republic has been described by many historians as the most perfect democratic constitution of modern times. It was the first time that Germany has adopted the democratic system. Frederick Herbert became the first president of democratic government. On your screen, you can see the working of the Weimar Republic. The highest authority according to the Weimar Republic was the president. The president was having power to choose the chancellor. And chancellor was one of the member of the Red Stake. The German Weimar Republic supported bicameral legislature, that means two houses of the German parliament. Red Stake was the lower house and Red Strat was the upper house. The lower house was chosen directly by the German people. Article 48 of the Weimar Republic make it sure that in an emergency the president could make laws even without going to Red Stake. That means Article 48 made the position of the president more stronger during emergency times. Many historians had described the Weimar Republic as the most democratic document of the modern era. Yet, there were many problems that the Weimar Republic has to face. Let us discuss about the economic, political and social problems that Weimar Republic faced when it was set up in Germany in 1920. The first big problem for the Weimar Republic was Germany's dissatisfaction with the Treaty of Versailles, the loss of its territories. Alsace and Lorraine were given back to France, which was considered as a national humiliation by Germany. Students, Germany had captured both the places of Alsace and Lorraine from France after franco prussian War of 1870. And why the word Prussia has been written here? Because Prussia was the old name of Germany. Germany's main territories were given to France like the Valley of Saar. The Valley of Saar was famous for its coal mines, were given to France for 15 years. And worst of all, huge areas of Germany were given to countries like Poland. For example, Port of Danzig, which was a commercial port of Germany, was given to Poland after the Treaty of Versailles. Posen and Silesia were the two important places for coal mines of Germany, which were given to Poland after the peace settlement of the Treaty of Versailles. So Germans were not satisfied with this treaty. Eupen and Melmady were given to Belgium. Skelswick and Holstein were returned to Holland. These were the two places which Germany had captured from Holland in 1860. After the Treaty of Versailles, both these places were returned back to Holland. Germany was forbidden to unite with Austria because these were the two countries which were held responsible for the First World War. So Germans thought the Treaty of Versailles was a humiliation. It was a black sport for Germany. Many of its territories were given to the allied countries, which the Germans could not bear. So, the people were against the Republican government who had signed the Treaty of Versailles. Germany was not satisfied with the Treaty of Versailles. The famous places Alsace and Lorraine, which Germany has captured from France in 1871, were returned to France according to the Treaty of Versailles. Saar coal field were also given to France for 15 years. This is the area of Saar coal field. 
Over here, you can see the Rhineland. Rhineland was a place where German soldiers were given training. According to Treaty of Versailles, it was decided that Rhineland would be demilitarized. Then, Eupain and Melmedy. Over here, these two islands were there, Eupain and Melmedy, and these were handed over to Belgium. North Skelswick was given to Denmark. Here was North Skelswick. It was returned to Denmark. This place Germany has captured in 1860. So after so many years, these two places, North Skelswick and Holstein, were returned to Denmark. Then Danzig, a free city, was run by the League of Nations. Here was the city of Danzig where most important commercial port of Germany, the Danzig port was there, but it was now under the control of League of Nations. Poland was given a corridor to Baltic Sea, cutting off East Prussia with Germany. And here you can see that this area was given to Poland and it created problem for Germany as Germany was not having the link with the eastern part of Germany called as the East Prussia. Then Posen, which were famous for coal mines, they were given to Poland. So this was an area which was given to Poland. Silesia, this part was also given to Poland. So Germany was not happy with this arrangement as most of her parts were divided amongst France, Belgium and Poland. Moreover, Weimar Republic was set up in Germany and this Weimar Republic was not successful in solving the economic problems of the people. So Germans were totally dissatisfied with the Treaty of Versailles. The Republic had to accept the Treaty of Versailles with all its humiliations. Naturally, there was a growing discontent against the new republic with the loss of territories and foreign control of German soil by the Allied powers. Here, by Allied powers, we mean to say the group of England, Russia and France. The Germans were not happy with the Weimar Republic for signing such a humiliatory treaty. But students, you must know that the German delegates were under threat to sign the Treaty of Versailles. They were given warning by France and England that if Germany would not sign the Treaty of Versailles, Germany could have to face invasion by England and France. Germany had already surrendered itself in the First World War and she was in not in condition to face invasion by the Allied powers. So under pressure, the Republican government had to sign the Treaty of Versailles. But the German peoples were not ready to accept such a humiliating treaty. They held responsible the Weimar government for signing this sort of treaty. So Weimar Republic had been not popular in Germany from its beginning. The second problem before the Weimar Republic was the activities of Ludendorff. Ludendorff was a German general, politician and military theorist. He achieved fame during World War I for his central role in the German victories at the Battle of Lake. Students, the Battle of Lake was fought between Germany and Belgium. And he also got Germans to victory in the Battle of Tannenberg. The Battle of Tannenberg was fought between Russia and Germany from 26th to 30th August 1914. So both these battles, the Battle of Lake and Battle of Tannenberg, Germany has been the winner under the leadership of Ludendorff. Ludendorff was the architect of the military strategy of Germany during the First World War. He tried to control the Republican government by encouraging the soldiers to start a mutiny against the Republican government. As he himself belonged to army, so it was very easy for him to provoke the soldiers 
to start a military revolt against the republican government he was assisted by hitler who was at that time an unknown person both ludendorff and hitler were sentenced to 5 year imprisonment in 1923 for their activities against the republican government after getting released from jail both tried to overthrow the republican government but they were failed in their effort students i have already discussed with you that hitler was not known to world during the first world war so we must know that what was hitler doing during the first world war during the first world war adolf hitler who was born in 1889 and died in 1945 served first as an infantryman and then as a private now here private we mean to say a soldier of the lowest level in the bavarian reserve infantry regiment the bavarian reserve infantry regiment was also called as the list regiment but he exhibited bravery during the first world war so for his bravery he got the iron cross award which was the highest military award of germany on your screen you can see both the pictures of hitler hitler as a soldier during the first world war and later on when hitler became a dictator of germany the third major problem for the weimar republic was the huge repression to the allies the most important problem was the payment of huge war repression or war indemnity to the allies the treaty of versailles referred the matter to a commission which fixed the total german amount war indemnity at 600 million pound in 1921 the germans reacted strongly that such a huge amount was beyond their capacity to pay as we all know that after the first world war the european countries faced economic crisis germany also became a victim of the economic depression under such condition it was just humiliating to ask a country to pay such a huge war indemnity but the weimar republic was under pressure to sign the treaty of versailles so huge war repression was the another problem which the weimar republic faced after its setting up in 1920 On August 21 after paying few installments Germany requested to suspend the payment till her economy recovered but it was not accepted by the League of Nations Germany became a defaulter as a result of which French and Belgian troops occupied the Ruhr region Ruhr was the center of Germany's coal and iron industry Germany requested as she was also going through the phase of economic crisis like all other european countries so till her economy did not recover from the economic crisis the war indemnities installments should be suspended but league of nation did not accept this demand of germany as germany was not paying the war indemnity so she was declared as defaulter by the league of nation hence the french and the belgian forces occupied the ruhr region of germany ruhr was the center of the coal mines and iron industry of germany for next 15 years the resources of ruhr that is coal and iron was utilized by france and belgium The next problem was the problem of passive resistance by German workers. As we have already discussed that Ruhr was occupied by the Belgian and the French forces. Because Germany was not able to pay the war indemnity installments. So outraged by the French occupation of Ruhr, all the German workers who were doing work in the coal mines and iron industries of ruhr struck work they stopped working and this resulted into general strike the general strike resulted in an economic collapse of the country 
the effect of the general strike on economy was disastrous it ruined the german industry as german industry was dependent on the coal and iron the value of mark declined mark is the currency of the germany inflation gripped at the whole country the prices of different commodities raised to the highest level in the country it became impossible for the people to buy the things of necessities unemployment reached to its new height as the value of german currency mark declined the prices of the things raised very highly in germany it became unprofitable to produce now so there was literally no investment and no investment means that the industries were unable to give employment to its people after facing the initial problems weimar republic did some efforts to improve the german economy let us discuss what was done by the weimar republic to reconstruct the german economy in 1923 the situation gradually improved when stresemann came to power he was perhaps the most efficient statesman of all post war german leaders stresemann called off the passive resistance movement he asked the workers to go on work again he tried to stabilize the currency that means he again put the effort to increase the the value of the mark and started paying war reparation again to france and belgium so that these countries could not occupy any more territory of the german empire the first step towards restructuring the german economy by the weimar government was the davis plan the davis plan of 1924 the economic situation again improved when davis plan came into effect in 1924 american banker charles davis provided an immediate loan for germany arranged annual installments spread over a long period germany was now in position to pay substantial installments to the allied powers so by davis plan american bankers gave loan to germany so that it becomes easy for germany to pay the war reparation installments germany also had to return the loan it had got from america but the duration of the loan was long enough it was given for longer period of time germany was directed by america to pay the war reparation and also invest money for improving the infrastructure of germany so that germany's economy could come out of economic crisis according to the davis plan usa lent money to germany which germany spent on building up the german economy the weimar republic increased the taxes on the common people so germany used increased taxes revenue to pay war reparation to france france with the money it has got from germany due to war reparation used to pay back money to america for the loan it has taken from america during the first world war and also to import the us goods in france so that the french economy can be strengthened so davis plan was a very wise plan which was devised by charles davis which helped germany also to come out of its economic crisis and also was beneficial for america to get its loan recovery from france the young plan of 1929 was another plan which was introduced by america in germany to improve the economic condition of germany the young plan of october 1929 was named after the american financier own young it reduced the total amount of reparation and arranged the payment of the installments spread over the term of 58 years without direct foreign supervision now the country appeared to be stable and well established we had already discussed that by the davis plan america made it sure that germany would be given some loan by america which it could 
invest on the economic restructuring of its country and also made a provision that Germany would pay the war reparations in easy installments. By the Young Plan, the war reparation would be extended to 58 years. That means Germany could pay back the loan till 1986. It helped German economy a lot. Now German economy started recovering from the economic crisis. The Young Plan helped the German economy to grow. It provided 58 years to Germany to pay back its war reparation. Germany got another benefit from the Young Plan also. French army which was there in Rhineland withdraw itself from the Rhineland. So Rhineland got free from the French control five years before the League of Nations has directed to France. The German economy was growing with the help of the Davis plan and the Young plan. But suddenly there was economic slump of 1929. America was the first country which was affected by the economic slump of 1929. All other European countries were also affected the Great Depression. So the Weimar Republic faced serious economic problems again. The economic slump of 1929 compelled America to suspend all loans since this economic depression started from America. So America was not in condition to provide loan to Germany. This was a great shock for Germany and in 1932 Germany declared her inability to pay war repression any longer. The economic condition became severe, unemployment continued to rise. As America was the first country which was affected by the economic depression, so it was naturally that a country like Germany which was receiving economic aid in form of loan from America by the Davis plan and the Young plan would also be affected by the economic depression. America had to stop all the loans which it was giving to Germany. So Germany showed that it was impossible for her to pay the war repression any longer. Economic condition of Germany got deteriorated and unemployment was raising to a new height. Middle class and working class people suffered the most. The government came under severe criticism from all sections of people. Thus, by the end of 1932, the Weimar Republic was on the verge of collapse. The Germans held Weimar Republic responsible for all their economic difficulties. No doubt, Weimar Republic has done their best by adopting the Davis Plan and the Young Plan. But now, without Americans' help, they were unable to pay the war indemnity. The money of supply in Germany's economy was almost zero. No investment and no employment was there. People were dying because of hunger and people held the government responsible for this. We have already discussed that what were the problems that Weimar Republic had to face. Now let us discuss why did the Weimar Republic collapse. How the Weimar Republic was unable to cope up with these difficulties and at the end the Weimar Republic came to an end. The first reason for the collapse of the Weimar Republic was the humiliating Versailles Treaty. The Weimar Republic accepted the terms and conditions of the humiliating Versailles Treaty and the German people never forgave the Republic for this. Students, we had already discussed that according to the Versailles Treaty, Alsace and Lorraine had to return back to France again. Valley of Saar was also given to France for 15 years. Many of the territories of Germany like Port of Danzig, Silesia and Posen were given over to Poland. A huge war indemnity of 600 million pound or 33 billion dollars were imposed on Germany. And people believed that the Weimar Republic was responsible for signing such a disgusting treaty. The second reason for the collapse of the Weimar Republic was the lack of respect in democratic government. There was a lack of respect for the democratic government amongst the German people. There developed a common belief that German army had not been defeated. 
it had been betrayed and stepped back by the democrats the german people believed that the democratic parties which were even there before the first world war was responsible for the defeat of germany during the first world war the german believed that they have leaked out the secret information of germany to the opposing countries and this was the reason of their defeat in the first world war the germans did not like the democratic government they had love for monarchical system they wanted to be ruled by a strong leader and that was the reason that they did not show any respect to the democratic government the next reason for the fall of the weimar republic was the weakness of the parliamentary system the parliamentary system was based on the idea of proportional representation so that all political parties should have their representation students by proportional representation we mean to say that each party was to get the number of seat in the legislature according to the number of votes being casted in their name and number of votes always depend upon the population of any unit or any state that means the states having the more population would send the more number of representatives in the legislature but there were so many groups that no single party enjoyed an overall majority in 1928 there were at least eight groups in the reichstag reichstag is the lower house of the german parliament the name of the small groups were the social democratic and nationalist catholic center party and the communist that means no single party was able to get majority in the legislature the lack of absolute majority was also reason for the fall of the weimar republic the governments which were formed were actually the coalition governments which were formed by many parties each party tried to dominate the other party so there was lack of uniformity in the administration this was a weakness of the parliamentary system which ultimately led to the decline of the weimar republic the next reason for the failure of weimar republic was the outbreak of violence the violent activities by the communist in 1919 made the government unpopular as i have already told you that the weimar republic was the coalition government it was not having the absolute majority so the opposing parties always looked for opportunity to create some problems for the ruling party when in 1919 the communist party spread some violent activities to make the government unpopular the weimar republic took the help of an organization formed by an anti-communist ex army officer this exposed the weakness of the government because it took the help of the private organization on which the government had no control the weimar republic rather than depending on its army made itself dependent on a private organization it proved that the government was basically a weak government which did not have trust on its army it more trusted on a private organization and this spoiled the image of the weimar republic amongst the german people in order to improve its image amongst the people the german republic the weimar republic decided to end such all private organizations when the government wanted to disband this organization of ex army officers namely freikorps they revolted and declared wolfgang cap as their chancellor chancellor means the prime minister of germany these private organizations had become so popular in germany that they could dethrone the government and choose their own prime minister and same was done freikorps declared that wolfgang cap would be their chancellor they declared wolfgang cap as the next chancellor of germany on your screen you can see the picture of 
Fry Corps, which was a private organization under the control of Wolfgang Kapp, who was an army ex-officer. The role of this organization was to end any sort of military or civilian rebellion. Let us discuss something about the Fry Corps. Fry Corps or in English Free Corps were several private paramilitary groups that first appeared in December 1918 in the wake of Germany's defeat in the First World War. So Fry Corps were formed in Germany after the First World War. and these were the private organizations formed by the ex army officers these were composed of ex officers the ex soldiers unemployed youth and other discontents and were led by former military personnel so all those persons who were not satisfied with the treaty of versailles the unemployed youth they were also a part of the fry corps Wolfgang Kapp was the head of the Fry Corps. So let us discuss something about the Wolfgang Kapp. Wolfgang Kapp was born on July twenty four, eighteen fifty eight, and died on June twelve, nineteen twenty two. Was a Prussian civil servant and journalist. He was a strict nationalist, a failed leader of so called Kapp Putsch. Now, what was Kapp Putsch? Cap Putsch was a violent organization which attempted to overthrow a government and when it was not possible for Wolfgang to overthrow the government with the help of Cap Putsch he formed the Fry Corps and Fry Corps ultimately were successful and the people declared Wolfgang Cap as the chancellor of the Germany The next reason for the fall of the Weimar Republic was the economic problems. Weimar Republic had to face number of economic problems from the beginning. The expenses of the war ruined the country. Students if we go by expenses then in the first world war Germany has spent more money than any other country which was involved in the first world war. Increasing unemployment closure of factories high prices of all articles made the republic unpopular actually it was not the fault of the republic but it was due to the war expenses that unemployment was raising in the country the factories were shut down because there was no profit in investment there was huge level of inflation the prices of the commodities raised high in the country by 1919 germany was on the verge of bankruptcy that means germany was with zero money people standing outside the government offices for search of job and people looking for food and standing in long queues before the government offices was a common sight in those days as the value of german currency mark was declined so money was used as paper by the people for their household works france occupied the german industrial area of ruhr in january 1923 and tried to seize goods from factories and mines as economic condition of germany was worst it didn't have any money for the investment in the factories the place of ruhr which was known for its coal mines was occupied by france as according to the treaty of versailles germany had to pay war indemnity to france and now due to economic crisis it was not possible for germany to pay the war indemnity so the industrial region of ruhr was seized by the french forces the german then followed a passive resistance movement the workers of the ruhr industries started the strike in the ruhr and as a result of which industries in ruhr became paralyzed because industries of germany were dependent on coal and iron all the places of coal and iron were grabbed by the winning countries by the treaty of versailles the last place which was 
There with Germany for its industrial development Ruhr was also now grabbed by the French government as Germany was unable to pay the war indemnity installments to France and this also became a major problem for the Weimar Republic According to the Treaty of Versailles Germany was asked to pay 33 billion dollars as war indemnity due to economic depression Germany missed the reparation payments the French invaded the Ruhr German workers went on strike the German government printed off paper money in order to increase the supply of money in the market but it resulted into hyperinflation the prices of the commodities raised very high and it became difficult for the people to purchase the goods and here you can see on your screen the place called ruhr which was occupied by the french forces in 1923 and they occupied this place till 1925 children these are the subtopics we have covered in this module we have started our module with germany's condition in the first world war where with the help of a map we have discussed that germany was in the central powers with germany austria hungary turkey and bulgaria the opposing group was the allies power with england france and russia and then we have discussed the condition of germany after the first world war the economic and the social conditions of germany we have discussed that economically germany was in poor condition unemployment was there the value of german currency mark was declining and socially also people were not liking the weimar republic then we have discussed the setting up of the weimar republic that how at the city of the weimar the weimar republic was formed because american president wilson suggested that monarchy should be ended and republican government should be formed in germany we have also discussed the problems of the weimar republic the first problem was the humiliating treaty of versailles according to which many territories of germany were handed over to other countries like france belgium and poland valley of saar alsace and lorraine rhineland were the places which it had to hand it over to france while silesia posen and city of danzig it has to hand it over to poland and with that it had to pay a high war indemnity of 600 million pound then we have discussed that how with the help of the davis plan and the young plan of america germany's economy started to recover the young plan and the davis plan were the plans according to which america provided loan to germany to reconstruct its economy it also reduced the installments that germany has to pay as a war indemnity to the allies countries it gave a period of 58 years to germany to pay back its war indemnity and then we have done that how economic slump of 1929 which started from america also affected germany there was huge level of unemployment inflation was there and investment was virtually zero finally we have discussed the reasons of the failure of the weimar republic in which we have done the treaty of versailles the economic condition of germany the rise of so many political groups in germany the parliamentary system with its weaknesses the system of proportional representation these were all the factors which led to fall of weimar republic these were the questions we have covered in this module name the groups of the first world war what was the weimar republic what were the problems faced by the weimar republic explain the davis plan describe the young plan how did it help the german economy to come out of its economic problems 
and what were the reasons of the failure of the Weimar Republic. Students, on your screen, you can see a YouTube link. You can search more by clicking on this link on Weimar Republic. With the help of this explanation and internet, you are advised to make the notes of this topic. I hope this session had been fruitful for you. We'll meet you in next session. Till then, have a nice day.